Good afternoon everyone, my name is Dave from PCB Solution and today I'm going to show you how to repair a damaged hard drive. So what we have in front of us is a damaged hard drive, it's a Maxer Diamond Max 9 80 gigabyte. I'll power it on and show you the symptom. I hope you can hear the clicking sound that's happening in the background. Alright, oh, I'll power it off now because that's not good for your hard drive. Okay, so a clicking hard drive could be caused by a damaged circuit board or damaged internal components. In this case, we have a damaged circuit board. And this is very lucky because this is a very, very simple problem to fix. So I should go ahead and show you how to do that right now. So to repair the damaged circuit board, you should get a replacement circuit board. and uh, to replace it, just take it. Just take the hard drive out of your computer. Unplug all the cores, of course. And if you have a, you need a Torx T7 or T8 screwdriver. And with this screwdriver, you can remove all the screws that are holding down the circuit board. Now you may, you may be wondering where you can find this screwdriver. If you purchase the board from us, we will actually provide a necessary screwdriver for you. Otherwise, I, th I believe you can find them in any special, any s specialized electronics store. Okay, so I went ahead and re re I removed all the screws. So on the back of the circuit board you will see this foam pad and it's, it's pretty much to insulate the bottom of the circuit board and you should remove this pad and put it back on the hard drive. What I have here is a replacement circuit board and this is a working circuit board. I'll put it back on now. You should always put back all the screws that you removed from the circuit board to ensure proper contact. I'm only putting back on three because to speed up the process. And it screws in very easily. And there's no need to apply a lot of pressure at the end. Okay, just about done now. All right. So the new circuit board is on. Now we're going to reconnect all the cords. Here we go. And here we go. Okay, so now we're ready to power it on again. So, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so you heard this time there was no clicking sounds. I'm not sure if you heard the head come on, but it did. So now we, it's detected in our computer. I'll show you in, in Device Manager right now. So you can see the Maxer 6Y0A0L0 USB device. And that is a hard drive we just repaired. So if you're wondering where you can find a replacement circuit board, you can find them at our website here. And our website is www.1pcbsolution.com And that's shown in the picture there. And our email address is info at 1pcbsolution.com So if you have any questions or comments, send us an email. And on our website we have several guides and they're intended to help you locate exactly the right circuit board for your hard drive. So, for example, if you have a Maxer Dynamax 9 hard drive, simply click on here to start the using the guide. And basically the guide is a step-by-step -step process to guide you through where all the necessary information are located and just input them here. And follow the steps and you will find in two steps, you will find the right circuit board for your hard drive. 
So that's, that's pretty much all you need to know if your hard drive has a circuit board problem. You should keep in mind that while we just repair the clicking hard drive by simply replacing the circuit board, that is not always the case. Some hard drives are clicking, but they also have some internal damage. For example, they have a head, head damage or a platter damage. In that case, simply replacing the circuit board will not be enough. So, and so in the end, the choice of whether or not to replace the circuit board is up to you. It, it is a gamble. Uh, it could save you money in the long run, but it's not guaranteed to work. So uh, that is everything. And if you have any questions, remember you can always email us. There's our email address again. And thank you very much for watching, and best of luck with your recovering your data.